Next time I travel I'll have you by my side Next time I travel I'll have you by my side
got a house full of trouble, a heart full of sin. Things are bad as they ever been. If trouble were money, I'd have more money than any man should. I'm open for business in your neighborhood. The blues is my business, and business is my thing.
yes, yes, yes. I'm here, you're here, and we're all here for season two of Live Talking Blues TV. Hey, everybody, what's up? I missed you guys so much. Patsy and I were just hanging out, doing some things on the French Riviera, you know, all that kind of stuff. No, I'm just kidding. We're here to sort certain things out. Listen, let's get on with the show. Our guest today has over 30 years' experience in the blues scene, 17 albums released. He's the bad cat with a harmonica that can blow, and he's got his sidekick, badass guitarist, Kid Carlos. Please welcome Kid Carlos. Please welcome Mingo Maluga. Mingo Mingo, what's up? Hey, well, we don't have any volume again, so we'll have <laughs> to check your volume. You know why we don't have it. There you are. You're out of mute. Talk. Hello? Can you hear Hello. me? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Patsy, thank you for saving the day. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Patsy. Yeah, well, we're a little bit rusty, aren't we? Because we've been away for a little bit of time. But we're back now. How you doing? Well, fine. Uh, doing the blues like always. <laughs> yeah, I know you're doing that. Patsy, can you hear Mingo okay? Everybody, we can. you guys can hear Mingo? Send a comment on the right-hand side there. There's a comment there. You guys comment and say what's happening with Mingo on the right-hand side there in the stream yard, and also the private chat from Mingo, Patsy, and myself. Oh, so listen, man, I tell you, it's been a long time since we have seen each other. Yes, yes, indeed. In fact, I have been uh, uh, watching the video that uh, we did together in 2009. Do you remember that? I remember, I, I wanted to ask you though, I remember the video and I remember the stage, it was outside, but I can't remember where we were. We were in Motril. In Motril, in Granada. You remember Motril? In, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, by by the way, everybody, Mingo is a, a friend of mine from from Spain. Whereabouts are you based in Spain, Mingo? In Sevilla, Sevilla. In in Sevilla, Se yeah, yeah. And this is this is Kid Carlos, your guitarist, and uh, and do you write songs together with Kid Carlos? Yes, sure, yes. This is yeah. in fact we are at home now, right now. Yeah. Now it's, it's a pity you cannot see. All the guitars that uh, he he got over here, the, uh, more than twelve, you know. Well, this I think. Terrific. Well, I'm not sure. We have a video, I think, of you guys playing in that room with all the guitars. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and if you don't, if we don't play that video today, everybody, you can go to uh, Mingo's website. What is your website, Mingo? Uh, MingoBalaguer.com. Yeah. Go there and you can check out his YouTubes. He's got loads of stuff, you guys. So listen, man, um, I mean, what is that saying? They say that uh, flamenco is like the Spanish blues. Why did you um, come over to like the American blues and not stay with Spanish blues, if that's a good question? <laughs> well, I might be a very strange uh, guy, you know. I started listening to the blues when I was uh, pretty young. In fact, I started playing harmonica before I, I, I know the blues. When I was something like 11 or 12, I was uh, playing uh, a popular music and all this stuff. But then when I listened uh, the first the first uh, blues, I listened, it was John Mayall, because the, 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 the first blues coming to Spain in the 70s uh, came from, from, from England and a uh, British uh, bluesman. But after that, I listened to Sonny Boy, Muddy Waters, and all this stuff, and I got really impressed. And then I thought uh, I, I, I got to follow this for sure. And I've been doing that for, for, for more than 35 years now. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and <laughs> doing well at it. And, and when you started playing the blues or playing the harmonica at 12, did you have a, a style of anything, or are you just playing sort of tunes that you like to hear? I'm just trying to understand how you develop such a fine style. Well, I'm myself, I mean, I, 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 uh, I remember that I was in, uh, in the school and I listened to somebody playing a harmonica and, and I said, oh, I, I, I know, I, I know that I can play that. And well, save by save, I thought uh, I'm doing my stuff. But as I told you, it was before I, I, I knew everything, anything about blues, but after that I listened to the blues and I got really uh, hooked to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, 
uh, and still learning for sure. I mean, you, you never, never end. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> I, I'm going to throw you in the deep end because you're still learning. You guys, listen to this guy. Can you play us a song? Because I want to see if you guys want to be a student. This is a student. This is an A class <laughs> student. Mingo, please play us a song. Would you please get Carlos and Mingo? Give us a song, please. Just listen sure, to this yes. man play. Let's go. We're going to do Check Your Boogie for Mrs. Snooky Pryor. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, babe, got so good. Tell everybody in the neighborhood to shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Your booty. So ride with me. Go tell your mama and your papa too. What in the world are we gonna do? So check your boogie. Check your boogie. Check your boogie. Your boogie is alright with me. Hey. to follow us so hopefully they're here they're tuning in today to listen to you man because that's beautiful thank you very much for that one i tell you You're so welcome. look you, you you've been playing for uh, over 30 years and um you were a member of the legendary caledonian blues band for 10 yes. years and yes. you played with some outstanding um um musicians charlie muscle white johnny winter uh, magic slim just to mention a few and w did you play with them over in Spain, or did you travel to America to play with them? No, I, I played to the States in 1994, mm -hmm. yes, 1994, 1993, and uh, we played in the Guys uh, Legends uh, Club, and uh, the rest of the time we just uh, went to see all our stars over there, and uh, mm -hmm. we, we, we spent a uh, one more than one, eight eight days in in, in Chicago. It was fantastic. Uh, that later must later have on, been, uh, that, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. That, later on, what happened? No, I mean we, we went to, to Washington D.C. as well. Uh, that was in two thousand five. As well, with another band that uh, that uh, I put together, uh, and uh, we we played all the Bay Area and all, and it was uh, really fantastic. Mm -hmm. I have really nice experiences. Uh, it was fantastic, something too much. Have, have you been back? Are you, do you fancy going back on another tour there? The uh, United no. States, once we get, uh, uh, you know, get things straight again? <laughs> no, 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 no. But now I hope, I hope uh, when this, uh, this uh, nightmare ends, I mean, the, the COVID, uh, I, I would have the chance and I really would like to, to, to come back to the States sometime. Yeah. I hope so. 
same, same here. And I'd like to come back and play with you one time because I've really had a lovely time. Oh, Absolutely I brilliant. That would, that would be really so, too much. I, we wait you here in Seville. Okay, you come to my place. We'll work something say, out. We'll work anytime something you out. want. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You, you, you write that down, kid. Yeah, write it. <laughs> we got that one. <laughs> Definitely going to put that one in the diary. And sure, um, yeah. I, I had a question. So, so because in Spain they have quite a big blue scene. I know COVID hit the world, so not only yeah. just in Spain, but how is it recovering now? Are venues starting to open again, or yes, yes, step by step, you know, and uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, regulations and so on, you know, everybody must be seated, and but uh, we start doing some some some. some and I hope uh, maybe in a couple of weeks or more, everything uh, is going to be better. Yeah. Because it was a, a, a completely disaster, you know. Uh, uh, every, everywhere. 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 Uh, and yes. so, I mean, what did you do to, to occupy? Because you could not tour. So did you just write more music, make some videos? Yes. Well, in fact, I did uh, my, my album, Blue Shadow. I did it during uh, during the, 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 the COVID, you know. And... and uh, I spent many hours writing songs and, and uh, doing some videos when we were able to, to do it and uh, uh, with, mm -hmm. with this uh, brilliant uh, guitar player, Kit Carlos, and with Pablo mm -hmm. Sampa, another guitar uh, player. In fact, uh, yeah. now, now I'm, I'm, I'm uh, doing a lot of stuff with, uh, with the band of uh, the Blue Shadow album. Uh, I mean, uh, let us say that uh, we are playing together a trio with Carlos and Pablo Sampa, who is living yeah, in Madrid. I saw that. And uh, also, uh, if uh, we have the chance, we, we go quarter with with, um, uh, with bass player, or, or, or if the situation is okay and, and they can play, we can go the whole band. Our our drummer is from uh, from uh, Paris, Guillaume de Sarac. Our mm -hmm. uh, bass player is from from uh, Barcelona, Oriol, and our piano player, Paul Martin mm -hmm. from the Basque Country. I mean, it's it's a, a record that that, that, that I did it. Uh, in Spain, a la carta. I don't know if you understand. I mean, a la carta, a la... sí. No a recuerdo carta. todo lo español, mira. <laughs> uh, a la carta. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what how this expression mean? in English, a la carta. <laughs> it means that, uh, that it's something that we really wanted from a long time ago. I mean, meet with the best musicians with uh, whom I work during my life and do something that, 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 uh, that, that, really, that I really like. I mean, write my own uh, songs and, uh, yes. and go with, with all of them and... Uh, get into the studio and in three days we, we did this album that i really love it three days my god well listen yes. <laughs> we, there's a single call i oh, was it happy to meet my baby uh-huh is meet. that off the blue shadow Maybe. yes that's right can we have, have a look at that <laughs>
Yeah, that was a chromatic harmonica. Yeah, but I've never seen it like that. It looked very modern because you see, they're silver. They've got that thing sticking out the end, don't it? Yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, well, I knew, no, I don't know when when Honor developed this uh, this uh, one uh, a few years ago. I don't remember exactly exactly when, but uh, it's, it's amazing because it's all full of plastic, but it's uh, but it's so smooth to play and fantastic. Mm. Honor has the best harmonica. And you're endorsed by Honor, Honor as well, yes. isn't that? Yes, yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and well done, Honor. I guess. You know. <laughs> oh my goodness! Because um, I, 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 I'd love to play the harmonica, but you know, I, I can't wear lipstick and play harmonica. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. That's serious. <laughs> I'm so vain. It's ridiculous. No, I'm just, no, but I love the sound, but I'm not very good at the wind instruments, but I've got a couple here in my desk and I'm just thinking, oh, uh -huh. Jesus Christ, maybe one day I'll take a couple lessons off you. You can, um, have you played, do you Anytime. know Billy Branch? Billy yeah, Branch sure, in Chicago? Sure. Yeah. Sure. I, I, I met him in 2018. We, yeah, we hi, played Billy. in, uh, in Casola, Blues Festival. Yeah, it, that's right. Casola Blues Festival. Exactly. Did I play there? I think I played the Cazola as well, I think, once upon a time. Um, he came over to London and gave, I think they were trying to promote Chicago, and he came to London and gave a, a it was a party, but in that party he, he, was, he, he, he gave harmonica lessons. So they gave free uh -huh. harmonicas to everybody, and he great. gave us all a lesson. After a few <laughs> wines, I knew I could play very well. <laughs> <laughs> He's amazing. He's amazing. It's Absolutely, and a very, very, very nice guy as well. I, I really very, like very, him. very nice. Yeah. Yes, beautiful yes, guy. Indeed. Yeah, I agree <laughs> completely. He, he and his wife are gorgeous. Now, uh -huh. um, let's see here. Now you play with the Blues Intruders. Yes. And I think I read that is that who I was on stage with you with Blues Intruders. I think. Yes, maybe. that's right. With the Blues Intruders. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two and your, yeah, your objective with the Blues Intruders was to play a, a range, a, a variety of styles, including yes. Chicago blues, 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 Texas blues, West Coast blues. Are you That's still right. playing those kind of styles in your own written music now? Sure, sure, yes. I, and I, I'm still playing with the Blues Intruders, and uh, well, I'm, I'm playing uh, with, with many, many musicians. I mean, I know everybody here in Spain. There are a lot of a bunch of real good blues musicians here in Spain. They're unbelievable. And I play with most of them because, uh, you know, I, I, I always like to, to, to play different styles, you know. I play duo with Carlos or, or with, with Pablo or with uh, any guitar player. I, I like to play well, uh, acoustic uh, stuff. Uh, I like to yeah. play Chicago style. I like to play with horn section. With, with, yeah. with Tia yeah. Carroll, for instance, uh, she's uh, too much. Uh, and uh, with Luis Coloma on piano. And I like to do all kind of uh, blues uh, styles well really let's that. listen to you let's listen to you and the blues intruders playing helen's boogie patty can you pull that up for us let's have a look at that one and i've got a question to ask you about this tv show you're on after that because i <laughs> all right i like <laughs> you got that one patty yeah, yeah, we still, still, give, give me a couple, couple seconds, seconds to pull, to pull that, that up. up that's, that's all, right. all right there, there we, we go, go. 
So if we have we have to we had to use a different system and loading. We had a little rusty trying to get things going, but that was with uh, Mingo and the Blues Intruders. Now you you made a uh, with the Blues Intruders Intruders you made an album called Fun to Visit, and you you recorded it live at the Kumbaya Club. 
That's right, yes, in Cambodia Studio in Malaga. Yeah. I've played yeah, there. Right. It's, it's, they're a lovely bunch of people over there as well, isn't it? Is it still going, the club? Yes, yes, still, mm. still oh. going. And, Gracias, uh, Diaz, and, because COVID, you know. <laughs> and I hope they will start now, that everything is uh, all right. They will start continuing with, with, the, with the gigs there. It's a beautiful place. You might. <laughs> Yeah, I, I played over there. You know, I have a band called Cat and Co, and yes. and we we played there. I can't remember about four or five years ago. I guess it is now, something like that. Maybe uh -huh. it was 2015, 2016. And I I wish to go back to play some places because um you know I I I love Spain so much. Even though my Spanish is completely gone, but um let's let's move a little bit forward, Patsy. I, I'm I'm gonna um I'm gonna use the other one, Patsy, the the one you edited, um um. The one that I, I'm, I'm talking to Patsy because I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about you playing in America, and I'm thinking about a particular American woman that you played with, and we're dying to get her on the show. And I meant to uh, write to her and tell her that we were going to be playing some of her songs tonight with you, but I just haven't had a chance because I've been filming for the last God knows when. I'm completely crazy, but um, Tia Caro. Oh, great! I know, I know. And, and so we, 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 we hang, hang on, on Patsy, Patsy, I'm, I'm, I'm echoing. echoing. Um, um, we, we had, had a, a, uh, we had a, 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 a video. video. Let's, Let's play, play it, Patsy. Patsy. Can you, oh, what amazing lady to play with. Yes, yes, she's unbelievable. She's terrific, too much. From San Francisco, Maria Carbo. Oh, is she? Really? I didn't know. She's, she's, she's from my side of the world, West Coast. I'm, I'm Los Angeles down below. Uh-huh. And she's, she's a, I'm a Southern California girl. She's a Northern California girl. 
<laughs> my claim to fame. What is it like to play with her? She's a powerhouse singer. We didn't. I yes. want to say, guys, that um, because we featured the show with Mingo today, we, we edited quite heavily, as you can see. So we didn't get a lot of, of Tia singing, but we're going to get her on the show by crook or by hook. So then we'll get a chance to really witness. But in the meantime, check out, check out Tia Carroll. On, on her websites and places and you can't you can't miss it she's all over the place so but definitely so what was it like to I mean it, it felt like you had a great chemistry yes well, we started uh, working together in 2017 with uh, with a great uh, piano player Luis Coloma and uh, Francisco Simon uh, uh, a very good guitar player from Madrid and uh, it was because uh, San Javier Jazz Festival uh, told me if I, uh, if I can go with uh, an Afro-American uh, singer there, and then mm -hmm. uh, Luis Coloma, who plays very often with uh, Sax Gordon, uh, asked him uh, with whom we can go. And uh, he told him, I mean, Sax Gordon told Luis, uh, definitely with uh, Tia Carlo. She's the best. Mm -hmm. And it's like this. I mean, she's uh, too much. We met together, and it was something like uh, like uh, like we, we, we met since uh, many, many years. And uh, we have be playing many festivals around in Spain, and uh, I hope we'll continue next next year doing some some shows here. I hope so. Oh, definitely. And by the way, guys, she, uh, you know Blues Blast magazine. She's on this month's cover of yes, Blues right. Blast I magazine, the American yes. magazine. And so you guys pick yes. up a copy of that because we always support Blues Blast. We support everything blues because this is your <laughs> one stop shop for all things blues. So, for example, if Mingo's coming over to go over to the UK, let's say for example. We will get him on the show, have a chat to you guys, so you can have a heads up before he gets here. You can get your ticket already and be there in the <laughs> seats by the time he gets here. Okay, so that's, that's the whole right. purpose of this. Hey, you guys, you want to play us another song? Sure, sure. So we're again, gonna play apologize now. for a little bit of the crackling. We're gonna now. It's okay. The sound is, is uh, it, it's a little good. delaying crackling, but it's not so bad. We'll play it back and we'll have a listen, but. Next time you come on, we'll fix it. It's not a problem. It's just the beginning of our season two, and we're starting out with a bang, so no worries. Play us a song, Mingo, okay. please. We're going to do it now. That's all right from the great Jimmy Rogers, but we're going to do it in acoustic, okay? With acoustic guitar, okay. and I play my half through this mic, and I hope the crackling will disappear. <laughs> okay. It might do. I, we used, no, but by, by the way, we used to get that as well, and I can't, I can't remember exactly what gave it to us. It's a several things, so... It takes a time to, to, to figure out what it is. It's, it could be many things. Anyway, just play because the blues will cover it all. Woo! We, we're going to turn off the fan, maybe. The fan turn off the fan, the maybe, yeah. <laughs> I know it's hot there. It's bloody yeah. hot in Spain still, bloody isn't hot. it? Really bloody hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's baby. go. Come okay. On. Told me, baby, once upon a time, that if I be yours, then the truth will be mine. But that's all right. I know you don't love me no more, baby. That's all right. But I'm in Call me baby. That you love me was wrong. What a walk of this morning. You know my feet was gone. But that's all right. No, you love no more, baby. That's all right. But every night and day I walk up. Ooh, it's loving you now. Thank you. 
Now tell me, baby, what's getting wrong with you? You don't treat me how I feel, like, like you used to do. That's all right. I know you have another man, baby. That's all right. But every night and day I walk her. Ooh, it's loving you Sounds, sounds okay now. You can turn the fan back on. Actually, it's not. It's still. <laughs> it, yeah, don't don't burn up. Turn the fan on, baby boy. It's okay. Yeah, it, I, it, it. Sometimes, if you're not near the router, sometimes it could be electrical. We've had all those same situations. Believe me. Um, I think uh -huh. this is show number thirty something, something like that. So we still got seventy shows before we have a big party. We're going to do 100 <laughs> shows and, <laughs> and do a big so party. Shall we turn the fan on? Yeah, turn it on, because it's going to oh, be too great. hot. Turn it on. Please, yeah, please, turn Carlo, please. On. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, please, please. It's not going to make any difference. Turn the fan on, baby. Don't sit there and burn up, you know. Mingo, listen, um, you know, we have something here uh, in, in England, a show called The X Factor. Mm -hmm. And um, the show that you played on Tierra di Talenta, the... It's, let me just say it properly. Tierra di Taliento. That's right. You Talentino. got it. Talento. Talentos. 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 That's right. That's right. That, that, and and now, now, you, you, not, not yet. yet that's because we're going to exo. You have to take it out, please. Yeah. I'll, tell, I'll stop speaking cause, because we've got a, a new system, so that's not working either. Don't worry. But um, how, how, did you, how did you become... What, is it like a competition or... Well, it's a competition time show? When, when the audience competition show is a talent, a talent show uh, awesome. made here in Andalusia. And I remember when, uh, after, I don't remember after the, the first or the second stage of COVID, I don't remember. We are all crazy. But uh, when we could get out, I was uh, having some, some uh, vacation in, in the north, in Galicia. Then they called me if I wanted to, to, to be there. And I told yeah. them, that I only wanted to be there if I can do my stuff. Otherwise, no way. And they told me, yeah, sure, you can do your stuff. And I told them, okay, I go there. And then we go together. And uh, we went into, into the final. And until the final, yes. we, we did three shows, you know. But at the end, uh, we didn't win. But it was a great experience, you know. It was really, really fun because my, my, my people that I didn't know before, 
and my YouTube uh, channel with a lot of followers, and it was really a great experience. A lot That's of, right. Uh, I've said <laughs> people come to see people see you on the street. They know you now because because of this TV <laughs> show, isn't it? It's really good, and your yes. YouTube, everything, social media goes up. <laughs> It was definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, definitely. Well, listen, we've got a video from that. And you, I know you said shake your booty earlier, but we're going to play that video now. I'll shut up so Patsy can put it on because if not, we get an echo. Go ahead, Patsy. I'll be zip. Okay. okay. You're so good. I tell everybody in their neighborhood, shake your boogie, shake your boogie, shake your boogie, your boogie, it's all right with me. Gonna tell your mama and your papa too. What in the world are we gonna do? So shake your boogie, shake your boogie. Shake your the boogie, your the boogie, it's all right with me. just to mention a few but all those countries you've played in that one show probably brought you more people or more people saw you in that one show than all those places you visit you know you get over a million people in one in one hour isn't it you know it's incredible yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right that's right <laughs> Absolutely. Unbelievable. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Sure. Did did you did anything change after that show? Like uh, bookings or anything that you uh, see noticed? Well, Except for people not, recognize not, you. Not really, not really, because you know. Uh, well, uh, I in, in the uh, let's say that uh, with with the COVID is, is quite difficult. Probably next year everything gonna be uh, a little bit uh, better. But now I didn't feel the difference really. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But COVID, it's put, it's like a big boot just stepped on everything, isn't it? Yes, you know what I mean? So, right. Right. so yeah, yes. I know we had done a tour in Italy and just as we got back, we were promoting my new solo album because I was doing more traditional stuff called My uh -huh. Roots. And uh -huh. so the, our first tour for the solo album, when we got back from tour two weeks later, COVID. So the whole album. Yes. Because, yeah, I don't care. I still didn't make a good album, and it's time to get back out there. So forget about the COVID. Screw COVID. Let's go for it. <laughs> now, now you're, like I said, you're endorsed by 
horn or harmonicas, and also harp sound microphones? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I met a, a Polish guy, a very nice guy, Anse. Well, he's doing a really great stuff. I mean, microphone accessories, this cable that I'm using, this microphone that I'm using now, the CD microphone, and, and uh, also uh, some some uh, anti feedback pedals and everything. And he's it's great. And uh, we get in touch uh, uh, one year ago, or something like that. And uh, I, I became in his uh, products, and, and uh, we just uh, share some. Conversation and he endorsed me, and uh, it's amazing. I mean, I'm really happy with his uh, microphones and all his stuff. Great. Excellent. Really great. What, what, what a great, his, what a great, eh? No, I mean, in, in Poland, he, he's looking for some for some uh, gigs in Poland, so probably next year I will have the, the chance to go to, to Poland and uh, because I've never been there, and I, I would love to, 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 to be there. And he's helping a lot. Oh, good, good. I mean, that, that, uh, like I said, the doors are starting to open up, and we had we have um, Boris Levinsky. He's he's promoting some of the British people over in Russia. He was doing that before COVID and stuff like that. So again, it's time to open up the doors and let us all get through Europe yes. and enjoy ourselves again. We yes. need live music, yes. you know. We absolutely need it. Need it. Well, and uh, we just want to say, it. yeah, yeah. So um, let everybody know where they can find you, please, Mingo. Well, they can find me in my www.mingobalaguer.com, in my, my, my web, also in Facebook, Mingo Balaguer yeah. Alvarez, and my fan page, Mingo Balaguer, and also Instagram, like uh, Mingo Balaguer. They can find me, everybody can find me there. But uh, uh, in my web, uh, they can go uh, directly to my web. I have all the information there in my web. That's right. You right. got all the links there. We can find you exactly. Yes. But we're, we're not going to go just yet, but we we're, we just want to play one more video if you don't mind. Anything you want. I know I'm chitty chatting a lot because I just missed you and it's so good <laughs> to see you. <laughs> Anything you need you need to tell everybody, that all of the people that follow you or any of the people that want to come see you. Anything you got to say that you want people to know about what's happening with you? Yes. Uh, I, the only thing I want to say to the people is that uh, enjoy life and uh, sure, we are going to be uh, very soon, pretty soon, playing and enjoying everybody, and this nightmare will end up, and uh, life continues, you know? It's the only message that I have to people. Yeah. Be happy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And uh, Kid Carlos, <laughs> thank Carlos, you so much. You, you want to say something? Come be and say to, something. Be happy to. Be happy to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen before we well let's let's play this one last video and um, don't go anywhere and we're gonna play on um, I'll have to shut up because we we're gonna play that video Patsy when you're ready and it's called Mad about, Mad my, about baby. my Baby. Crazy 
probably some lag time there's lag time everywhere never you mind listen before we go let's um let's say hello in our um studio number two patsy hey what's happening thank you so much patsy for helping out and doing all your things i know we had some little technical problems but not that's okay baby girl don't you worry about a thing you know it's all good <laughs> listen man I miss you guys so much, and I'm gonna come over and see you and do some music, and you know I can't wait uh, to get over, get on any stage to sing. Um, this week on the 27th, when you come over to London, um, there's a blues jam session, and they have a blues night at a place called the Tam. Look it up. It's called the Temple of Art and Music. And um, that's in Elephant and Castle, the Temple of Art and Music, called the T-A-M. And I'll be hosting a jam night there this September 27th. So I think that's next Monday, something like that. So anyway, you guys keep an eye out for that because it's an amazing venue. You'll love it, Mingo. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wait, you too, sure. Kid Carlos. Sure, yeah. um, and um, so I guess, um, I, guess, I guess that's pretty much it for tonight, I guess, huh? Any, um, Patsy, that's about it, isn't it? Right, okay. Well, Mingo, it's been a pleasure. My and, pleasure. um, El gusto es mío. <laughs> no mío. <laughs> <I'll see. laughs> okay, Carlos, we're going to see you in London as well, please. Thank you, you very welcome. much. Sure, yes. Thank you for coming in. And then, and Patsy, Patsy was saying maybe you have a lot of plugs into one socket, which gives it, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know if you have this problem in other situations, but we'll try again in a few months' time. You got another album, a single, we'll, we'll, it will be, we'll be talking. Sure, yeah. Thank you very much for everything. I hope to see you soon. We are waiting for you both here, okay? Anytime, please come to my place. <laughs> I will. I will, definitely. Okay, then, guys. All right. If you want to stay and have a chat afterwards, don't go away. We're just going to do an outro, and then we'll be off, off screen after that. We'll end the broadcast. So hang tight for a second, and we'll say goodbye again. Patsy, okay. take us home. Good night.